This is our VEX V5 controller. After several hours of use, our right joystick started to stick in the left position. We first bought a new controller, then attempted to fix this one. Here's the problem. When we move the right side joystick or thumbstick, it often sticks and won't return to the center. To get our joystick working again, we had to open our controller case by removing 8 screws. We used a Phillips screwdriver with a number 0 tip. The shank of the screwdriver needed to be at least 30 millimeters long to reach the recessed screws. There are 3 screws on each side of the controller and 2 longer screws at the front. The hole near the center is a push button. Don't put your screwdriver into that one. With all eight screws removed, we carefully separated the top and bottom of the case with a small flat bladed screwdriver. Now we looked, fiddled and explored the sticking joystick. Was a potentiometer binding? Was a spring broken? Was the handle rubbing? We decided to remove the handle from the joystick. We did not need to do this to fix our joystick. We used a long-nosed pliers, not to grab anything, but as a lever to gently ease the handle upward. We held our breath but managed to not break anything. Then we noticed something that wasn't right. On these joysticks, a metal shaft rests on a nylon bearing block. There's a dimple on the block and the shaft rests on this. The shaft should rotate, but stay in the dimple. When we moved our joystick to the left, the shaft moved slightly out of the dimple and the joystick got stuck. Eureka! Here's a photo of a new joystick with the shaft centered on the nylon block and with no sign of wear. This is how it should look but our sticking joystick didn't. To fix this problem, we dipped a toothpick into a puddle of WD-40 lubricant. Using the toothpick, we applied a tiny amount of WD-40 to the nylon block and the metal shaft. That fixed it. The joystick no longer got stuck. We reassembled our repaired controller by placing the front cover face down on our work table. We then placed all nine control buttons in their proper place. The control buttons are keyed. We put a button in a hole and turned it until it fell into place. If you try to use the wrong button, it will not drop down into the hole. Finally, we carefully placed the controller together and fiddled with the joysticks to ease them through their holes in the front cover. The cover made a satisfying, snap, sound when it fell into place. We remembered that there were two long screws and six shorter screws. The two longer screws went into the holes at the front bottom of the controller and the shorter screws went into the handles. When we replaced our screws we made them snug but not too tight. We don't know why our joystick failed. Did our controller get dropped? Did we exceed the operating parameters of the joystick mechanism? We realize that the ultimate fix is to replace the joystick. But if you're between matches and need something quick, maybe this video will help you to keep going. Thanks for watching and we look forward to your comments.